Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel. It's a Tuesday, which means it's time to go over this week's Atomic Shop review, diving in to find out what's in store, if there's any new items, and just give my little if first impression on them, basically. So yeah, I'm going to be diving in. Before we do, though, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. It's a video I do each and every single week, and fortunately, today, I do not need to go back to work. I've been, I've done my shift, and now I'm home for good. So let's have a look what's in the store today. We've got... We've got new, it says new, oh yes we do, yes, we've got the new Lightnum Up Station, a new Tricentennial paint for the Tesla rifle, and a new flag waving bundle. So let's have a look at the flag waving bundle. So we've got the US flag pose, Lightnum Up paint for the Gatling gun, Stars and Stripes photo mode frame, the Lightnum Up Power Armor Station, which actually looks alright to be fair, it doesn't, oh no, it does, it does have quite a few little neon lights on it and stuff. The American Patriot Power Armor Paint Set, the Eagle Balloon, the Tricentennial Paint for the Tesla Rifle. Now, the American Patriot Power Armor, it doesn't actually show you a picture. Oh, it's that one right there. So it's that one right there. So there you go. So it is one that we've seen in the past. It is an old one. It is up for sale for 980 on its own if you want to pick up that one for yourself. Uh, it does come with different variants as well. It did say the T45, T51, T60 and X01. You can't use it on the excavator and you can't use it on radar or anything like that so yeah a bit of a strange one you can't use it on the union or anything either so to be fair i think that was out before the union so you can't expect it to be on there the light up station though in itself actually looks pretty cool it does require the power armor station plan to be learned obviously i was saying if it would say that you require power or is it like i don't know solar power type of thing but um but no i'm presuming you will need power to actually light that up it's not gonna be like the gun which is kind of funny because really the guns light themselves up, so then will this light itself up? That's the that's the question there, but I don't know. We'll have to wait and see see if that is powered. The tricentennial paint there is it's not too bad. It's all right. It looks okay, doesn't it? It's not too crazy. But if you need a skin, maybe seven hundred atoms. I tell by everything I said, seven hundred atoms. It's absolutely Jesus, bloody hell. That is an expensive weapon skin. I would not be paying seven hundred. That's seven hundred and fifty for the Gatling gun. Reduced to 600. I mean, when you're looking at the price of that and the price of that, and they're both included in the flag waving bundle, it kind of looks like an alright deal. The flag waving bundle, weirdly, is actually quite cheap for a bundle nowadays. Um, I mean, it doesn't involve that much crazy stuff, to be fair. Like, not really. You've got an old power armor skin, a two weapon skins, a power armor station, a balloon, and some photo mode stuff. So. Not for anything really crazy, but maybe it's something that you want to pick up. The Stars and Stripes photo mode frame now is this one right here. Uh, I actually like the little vault boy on that. That's quite cool. I think that'll be good for a thumbnail or something. Uh, US flag is 250 on its own. And there is a bundle down the bottom right. You can just see above my head. Uh, da -da 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 -da. 1,800 for the people bundle. This includes the Red Menace uh, Flag 2, Red Shift Backpack, Communist Threat Pin for the Combat Rifle, Communist Spy Outfit, the Spy Ski Hat, Communist Star Player Icon, Communist Fence, Red Shift Paint, Red Menace Flag, Communist Bunker, and the Communist Military Safe as well. Weird one, because I feel like half the stuff in this we've had in the last couple of weeks in the store. So, weird for them to throw back in as well for 1,800, which is pretty steep in my opinion. Going on to the next page now, we've got all the stuff that did come in last week, kind of themed around Fashion Out, which is still ongoing at the moment. So, if you haven't been playing, you could be jumping on right now to try and get and test your luck, basically, to get the new maps. No, maps. Masks, even. Um, I haven't had any luck. I went on the other day, I got the Scorch Beast uh, Queen, but that was it. Not the glowing ones, the standard. That's the best, really, I've had so far. Um, but that's pretty much it for that page. You can still get the Liberty Prime Power Armor skin set as well in the bottom corner for 1,260. The cowboy bundle is also available down there, uh, including the gunslinger pose, rootin' tootin' cowboy outfit, chuck wagon cooking station, western revolver American paint, rootin' tootin' cowboy, uh, single action revolver American paint, hay bales, laser light duck shooting gallery, 44 American paint, and a giddy up buttercup ride as well. There you go, lots of pictures on that bundle. Uh, and of course all the stuff that came in last week, which I'll not cover too much because we did last week. Now going on to the greatest hits, we have... Oh yeah, it's I think July 4th in a couple of days, so Independence Day. There you go, so on Independence Day, we have some 
new bundle. So jamming out bundle includes the pipe organ, industrial street lamps, let's jam emote, the resonator guitar, the drum set, the classic performance stage and the ham bone stool as well. So there you go, a few different things if you want to kind of make a, I don't know, some kind of celebratory camp with all the music and stuff, like music festival type of vibe to celebrate July the 4th and that is 1,500. Going on the next one, we've got 1,000, we've got the Liberty or Death Bundle. This includes a tan Free States backpack, the Free States Revolution icon, Free States paint for the combat shotgun, Free States Revolutionary helmet, Revolutionary paint for the Pip-Boy, Revolutionary outfit and the Free States salute emote as well. Is it the emote or is it the fort mode ribbon? Technically doesn't say it, but I'm going to guess it's the emote. I don't think there is a Free States salute um, fort mode for him. I think it's, that's got to be the emote. Uh, going on to the next bit, we've got the Stars Outfit Bundle. This is an old bundle, I believe. Uh, which is the Stars and Stripes dress, Root and Toot and Cowboy outfit, Stars and Stripes headband, Root and Toot and Cowboy hat, Hootenanny overall under armour, the Stars and Stripes ops under armour as well. That actually looks alright, doesn't it? Not too bad. Uh, but yeah, you can also get a whole bunch of sale items. You get the Tricentennial bundle for 1,000 items, including all the Tricentennial gear you can imagine. Uh, it was a weird one, this. This one caused a lot of controversy in the past because originally this was for everyone that pre-ordered the Tricentennial version of the game back in like six years ago when the game first came out. And then they added it to the Atomic Shop, which kind of frustrated the people that thought they were buying the Tricentennial version because they've got exclusive stuff and then they just sold it in the Atomic Shop. So there's one to think about. Four post to bed for 350, Power Patrol Fatigues, the Military Intel Office outfit. I actually like this one. I really do. I think that's a pretty cool outfit. Um, we've also got the Military Uniform outfit as well. And we've also got the 4th of July icon as well, which I don't really think is too special to be honest. Uh, special offers now, new Cola Twist is your daily free item. The Fashion App Frog icon is the weekly free item, I want to say. Uh, for 24 hours only, you can get the communist skin for the handmade rifle. I'll have a video coming out tomorrow sharing with you all these special offers coming into the store this week. Um, and then for Fallout First, you can get the Dr. Zorbo's Power Armor Paint and the Camp Counselor, which is the last week to pick it up if you haven't already. Now going further into it, we've got the Scorched Earth stuff, which came in two weeks ago now. You can still pick them up if you haven't already and you want to. This is going to be the last week for them. And we'll keep going, test our luck. We've got the Fallout First page, which is all the just stereotypical usual stuff. And that is the last page. So there you go, guys. That is the Atomic Shop for this week. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Is there anything you're going to be buying? Is there anything that stands out to you? Drop a comment below and I'll have a little look through them. See what you're all saying. See what your thoughts and opinions are. But that's it for now. So thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.